The ground beneath Texas is crumbling. Already more than 100 sinkholes have opened across the state at an alarming rate. From the booming oil fields of the Permian Basin to the peaceful farmlands of Hudspeth County the state is being torn apart under its own weight. And as the ground gives way the destruction begins. Geologists are raising urgent concerns about a rapidly intensifying geological crisis unfolding across Texas. Evidence from Hudspeth County in the west stretching to the oil towns of Wink and Kermit indicates that the ground is subsiding at an unprecedented rate. Recent satellite observations have confirmed that portions of the Permian Basin, a major oil-producing region, are experiencing subsidence of up to 40 centimeters annually. Further advanced radar imaging has revealed widespread deformation, illustrating how the Earth is warping and sagging across vast areas previously considered stable. On the ground the situation is equally alarming, with roads displaying deep cracks and depressions. Property owners have also reported the sudden appearance of fissures splitting through their land. Experts are quick to emphasize that this phenomenon is not typical erosion but rather a structural failure occurring beneath the surface. This is attributed to underground voids, likely formed by a combination of natural processes and industrial activity which are collapsing and causing the surface to sink. These experts also caution that such sinkholes may not be isolated incidents but could be symptoms of a larger geological process with potentially catastrophic consequences for the region. But if the ground is collapsing everywhere, where is the epicenter of this disaster and what exactly is happening beneath it? In the small town of Wink, Texas situated approximately 50 miles west of Odessa, two enormous sinkholes have become the focal point of this unfolding crisis. These massive depressions known as Wink Sink 1 and Wink Sink 2 first emerged in the 1980s as relatively minor ground sags, however their size has dramatically increased. Today Wink Sink 1 spans over 350 feet, while Wink Sink 2 stretches more than 600 feet across, and continues to expand rapidly. This growth has compelled local authorities to reroute traffic, restrict access to certain zones, and closely monitor critical infrastructure such as Highway 1115, oil pipelines, and nearby residential areas. The root cause of this problem lies deep beneath the surface. Wink is located within the Permian Basin, an area rich in thick layers of salt deposits and limestone vestiges of ancient seas that covered the region over 250 million years ago. These salt beds are highly soluble, meaning they readily dissolve upon contact with groundwater. For decades intensive oil extraction and groundwater pumping have significantly disrupted the delicate subsurface balance. As groundwater levels decline and petroleum is removed water infiltrates these salt beds gradually dissolving them and creating massive underground voids some extending for hundreds of feet in every direction. Eventually the relatively thin layer of rock and soil above these caverns collapses under its own weight leading to the formation of sinkholes which can develop in a matter of hours. Both of Wink's sinkholes are believed to have formed through this process and geologists warn that it is still actively ongoing. Even more concerning new data indicates that Wink Sink 1 and Wink Sink 2 are moving toward each other. Should these two collapse zones merge they could form a single unstable depression spanning over 1,000 feet posing a significant threat to homes, highways and vital energy infrastructure. Furthermore, scientists are discovering evidence of similar underground voids developing across other parts of the Permian Basin suggesting that the instability observed in Wink may be indicative of a broader regional phenomenon. Before we dive deeper into what lies hidden beneath Texas, take a moment to support our work. Hit like if you find this investigation eye-opening, share this video to help spread awareness about this growing crisis and don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell turned on so you won't miss the next part where we uncover the terrifying underground network threatening to swallow entire towns. In Reeves County the ground has begun developing long fissures, some stretching over 1,000 feet in length, often appearing suddenly after periods of rainfall or seismic activity. Meanwhile, GPS monitoring stations in Midland County have detected measurable ground sinking in several areas, and Ector County has reported the emergence of multiple new collapse features in previously stable terrain. What exacerbates this already dangerous situation is the legacy of oil extraction in Texas. The Permian Basin is home to thousands of wells drilled over the past century, many of which are old, poorly documented or completely abandoned. When these wells were initially drilled, they penetrated through salt layers potentially creating pathways for water to access and dissolve the underlying salt beds. Over time some of these abandoned wells have lost their structural integrity, 
with corroded casings, failed seals, and compromised underground connections between different geological layers. Consequently, water can now flow through these damaged wells, accelerating the dissolution of salt formations and leading to the creation of new underground voids in unpredictable locations. Compounding this problem, many abandoned wells from decades past have incomplete or missing records, making their exact locations and depths unknown. This lack of information means that even as scientists attempt to map high-risk areas, they are working with incomplete data. Consequently, underground voids could be forming unnoticed beneath homes, schools or critical infrastructure. The terrain across the Permian Basin now resembles a thin shell covering a honeycomb of underground spaces. While the surface may appear normal, the underlying structure is compromised, weakened and unstable. Each new rainfall event introduces more water into this system, and every small tremor or vibration adds new stress to the weakened layers. Furthermore, each existing collapse increases pressure on surrounding areas, pushing them closer to failure. Using three-dimensional seismic imaging, geologists have mapped some of these underground structures revealing a shocking reality. Beneath seemingly solid ground lie massive caverns, some large enough to accommodate entire buildings. These voids are interconnected through fractures and dissolved salt channels, creating a vast network of instability that spreads for miles in every direction. Given this evidence, the critical question is not if more collapses will occur, but rather when and where. Do you think there could be more hidden voids under our cities than scientists realize? Share your theory below. What makes the Texas sinkholes particularly concerning is the array of revelations they offer. Beyond their immediate geological impact, these collapses often expose layers of ancient geological history. For instance, paleontologists have unearthed fossils from the Pleistocene era within some sinkholes, including remains of extinct mammals that roamed Texas thousands of years ago. Deeper sinkholes, meanwhile, reveal marine fossils from the ancient Permian Sea in their exposed walls, confirming the oceanic origin of these vast salt deposits. However, these sinkholes also expose modern dangers. Many collapse zones release gases that have been trapped underground for centuries. Hydrogen sulfide, a toxic gas characterized by its rotten egg smell, has been detected at several sinkhole sites, while highly flammable methane seeps from others. These gases pose immediate threats to anyone approaching fresh sinkholes, and can significantly contaminate the air quality in surrounding areas. Furthermore, the collapses breach underground aquifers, allowing salt water and brine to mix with precious freshwater supplies. This contamination then spreads through the groundwater system, potentially poisoning wells and water sources miles away from the actual sinkhole. Some sinkholes have even transformed into toxic ponds, filled with highly saline water that eradicates all vegetation around their edges, and prevents any life from surviving within the water itself. Environmental testing conducted around known sinkholes has also revealed soil contamination extending hundreds of feet from the collapse zones. Heavy metals, industrial chemicals from old drilling operations, and naturally occurring radioactive materials have all been found in concentrations far exceeding safe levels. Clearly what lies beneath Texas is not merely an engineering problem or a geological curiosity, it is an environmental time bomb threatening the water, air and soil that millions of people depend on. The true scale of this danger however only becomes clear when considering how these sinkholes could potentially trigger something far worse. Geophysicists have identified a concerning domino effect where the formation of one sinkhole can trigger a chain reaction of failures across connected underground structures. When the ground collapses immense stress is redistributed through nearby rock layers, further destabilizing adjacent salt caverns and underground voids. This process causes dormant fractures to spread and once stable layers to fail at an accelerated rate. Data from Southern Methodist University's GPS monitoring in the Permian Basin reveals alarming ground deformation within miles of existing sinkholes, with surfaces sinking, cracking and shifting faster than in stable areas. The ultimate result is the formation of sinkhole clusters as instability progressively spreads. This threat is significantly magnified by the critical infrastructure built directly above these weakened zones. The Permian Basin is a hub for pipelines, major highways such as I-20 and I-10, power lines and railways, all of which are at severe risk of collapse. A single sinkhole beneath a pipeline could unleash devastating oil spills or gas explosions leading to billions in damages and catastrophic environmental fallout. Similarly, multiple collapses along I-20 could sever vital trade routes, isolate communities and cripple emergency response efforts. Furthermore, industrial sites face substantial danger, 
Refineries and oil storage facilities containing massive quantities of hazardous materials are particularly vulnerable, a collapse beneath one could rupture tanks, ignite fires, or release toxic chemicals. Geologists have already mapped several high-risk zones characterized by rapid ground sinking, surface cracking, and seismic indicators of large voids, many of which are alarmingly close to population centers. While the precise timeline remains uncertain, some areas might hold for years while others could fail tomorrow, it is critical to understand that once cracks appear at the surface, the underground structure has often already given way. What is unfolding beneath Texas doesn't just threaten the state, its consequences could ripple across the nation's energy network and economy. Texas stands as America's energy powerhouse, with the Permian Basin serving as its beating heart. This region alone produces over 5 million barrels of oil daily accounting for nearly half of U.S. production and supplies a significant portion of the nation's natural gas. The basin's energy output fuels a $100 billion economy, provides funding for schools and infrastructure, and supports tens of thousands of jobs. However, the escalating sinkhole crisis now threatens to bring this vital system crashing down. Should instability force even a partial shutdown of the Permian Basin, the consequences would ripple across the entire nation. Oil prices would soar, gasoline costs would spike, and industries reliant on petroleum and natural gas ranging from aviation to manufacturing could grind to a halt. This would effectively erase America's hard-won energy independence overnight, compelling a renewed reliance on foreign imports and re-empowering overseas producers. Furthermore, power plants across the South could face severe fuel shortages, potentially triggering widespread blackouts and industrial slowdowns. Pipelines transporting oil and gas through the region are also gravely at risk. A single collapse could sever major supply lines to Gulf Coast refineries, leading to widespread fuel shortages and price surges across the country. Beyond the energy sector, the crisis poses a significant threat to Texas's water and agriculture. Sinkholes and saltwater intrusion are actively contaminating aquifers that supply drinking water to over 10 million people, as well as to farms that help feed the nation. A large-scale contamination event could spark a public health disaster and devastate Texas agriculture. Financial markets would not be immune either. Energy stocks could crash, insurance claims might soar past $50 billion, and the federal government would likely be compelled into massive intervention to stabilize the economy. All of these potential catastrophes stem from a problem that has been quietly escalating for decades, one that scientists issued warnings about but few took seriously. Now, with the ground literally collapsing beneath Texas, the critical question is whether it is already too late to halt this dangerous chain reaction. For decades, Texas has diligently prepared for disasters originating from above, such as hurricanes, floods, and droughts. However, the state was entirely unprepared for a crisis emerging from beneath its surface. Unlike storms, sinkholes offer no warning, the ground can appear solid one day and vanish the next, indiscriminately swallowing roads, homes, and entire sections of land without a trace. Scientists explain that the greatest challenge lies in the ineffectiveness of traditional disaster response systems in this context. Mapping underground instability is incredibly difficult, as current tools can only penetrate to a limited depth and the ground beneath Texas is in a constant state of flux. Each day groundwater dissolves more salt, oil extraction removes additional material, and tremors further weaken the remaining structures. Compounding this issue is the presence of over 200,000 old oil wells scattered across Texas, many of which are abandoned and unsealed. Some are so ancient that their exact locations are unknown. These forgotten wells act as conduits, allowing water to seep deep underground and accelerate the dissolution of salt layers, thereby creating hidden cavities poised for collapse. Despite the growing threat, funding to study and prevent these disasters remains scarce. Universities and state agencies are limited to monitoring small areas, while oil companies primarily focus on safeguarding their own assets. Some experts propose injecting concrete to stabilize the ground, but the prohibitive cost would run into billions. Others argue that prevention is impossible, suggesting that the most effective approach is to identify danger zones and relocate people and infrastructure. However, such a course of action would necessitate declaring vast stretches of land unsafe, a decision few politicians or businesses are willing to accept. Meanwhile, the ground continues to collapse. In the past two years alone, over 30 new sinkholes have appeared across the Permian Basin, some small, others large enough to engulf entire buildings. Communities residing above these unstable zones now face impossible choices to remain and risk everything, or to abandon their homes and livelihoods. Emergency agencies are attempting to formulate sinkhole response plans, 
yet no one truly understands how to manage a disaster that can open up beneath rescuers' feet. The fear is constant, as every sign points to more collapses ahead. The forces driving this crisis have not abated, oil extraction, groundwater pumping and heavy rainfall continue to accelerate the process. Scientists unequivocally warn that it is not a question of if another major collapse will occur but when and where. It could manifest under a remote ranch tomorrow, or beneath a busy Texas highway next week. Texas has always confronted its challenges head-on, this time however the adversary is not a storm or a fire, it is the ground itself silently eroding from within, threatening to bring one of America's most vital regions to its knees. New geological surveys reveal that Texas's sinkhole crisis is rapidly spreading, extending beyond the Permian Basin. Early warning signs of ground collapse are now emerging near major population centers, including Houston, San Antonio, and Central Texas. Across the state, the same underlying salt and limestone layers responsible for the massive Wink sinkholes also run beneath these cities. Decades of groundwater pumping have significantly lowered water tables and altered underground flow patterns, effectively setting the stage for potential disaster. In Houston, a city home to over 2 million people, parts of the metropolitan area are slowly sinking. Cracked foundations, uneven roads, and mysterious depressions are increasingly hinting at underground voids forming beneath neighborhoods. What was once dismissed as simple soil settling is now being re-examined as a critical warning sign of broader instability. San Antonio faces a similar if not intensified danger. The Edwards Aquifer, a vast underground water system flowing through porous limestone, makes the region naturally prone to sinkholes. When combined with decades of heavy water use and rapid urban growth, the risk is multiplying dramatically. Small collapses have already appeared in the suburbs, each one underscoring that the problem runs deeper than previously understood. Central Texas, including the Austin area, sits atop the fault-riddled Balcones zone of fractured terrain where water easily carves through limestone. As cities continue to expand and groundwater is pumped more aggressively, new underground voids are forming in areas once considered safe. The spread of sinkholes into these densely populated regions transforms a localized geological issue into a statewide emergency. While rural collapses threaten critical infrastructure, urban sinkholes could devastate entire city blocks. Beneath our streets lie vital pipelines, power lines, sewers, and communication cables. A single collapse could trigger a chain reaction of failures, causing billions in damage and endangering thousands of lives. Despite the escalating threat, public awareness remains dangerously low. Most Texans outside the Permian Basin have little to no idea how serious the risk has become. Without public pressure, officials have been slow to act, and comprehensive studies continue to be unfunded. By the time the danger becomes impossible to ignore, it may already be too late to prevent large-scale disasters. Adding to the urgency, climate change is accelerating these processes. Torrential rains send water rushing underground, dissolving salt and limestone faster than ever before. Conversely, droughts then necessitate overpumping removing the very groundwater that once provided support to the underlying rock layers. Together these forces are creating what scientists describe as a perfect storm, one that could render large parts of Texas unstable, unlivable, and economically crippled. What began in the deserts of West Texas is now creeping toward the state's major cities, threatening the homes, businesses, and lives of millions. And scientists issue a stark warning. This may only be the beginning. The ground beneath Texas may be collapsing, but your voice can make a difference. What do you think is truly driving this crisis? Nature, industry, or something even deeper? Share your thoughts and theories down in the comments. And if this investigation opened your eyes to the dangers beneath our feet, make sure to smash that like button. Share this video to spread the warning. Subscribe with the notification bell turned on so you won't miss the next chapter of this unfolding disaster. The story of Texas's collapse is far from over, and the next revelation could change everything. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. Leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us. Remember to subscribe for more. See you soon.